it's good morning from Belgium and what a lovely park up we ended up in last night it is just so quiet out here and look at this we've we've got our camper parked in there we've got this little hedge along here with some little gaps in where you can just walk out onto this lovely area and uh, behind us this way we've got uh, the horses roaming around across the landscape and it is absolutely breathtaking this morning So uh, Caroline's having a good sort out inside and uh, she said, right, what are we going to have for breakfast? And I said, uh, what we'll do this morning, we'll have some nice uh, breakfast cereal and then um, have some like toast and marmalade. Got some nice strawberry jam in there as well. So uh, yeah, that's the order of the day for on the menu for breakfast. And uh, yeah, pretty nice. So nice, hey, they got uh, chickens roaming around out uh, here uh, with the horses. And it looks like we've got a bit of a uh, riding stable here as well, so it looks like they do a bit of uh, riding. But um, I'm just checking out these little guys behind me, and uh, they're looking quite uh, quite chuffed to see us, actually. Hello, bye. How are you getting on? Oh, he says, oh, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. What are you up to? Billy the Kid. Hello, my friend. Got a little tiny miniature pony just uh, romping around here. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. He is uh, not that high. I really think, I think he likes me. He's, he we're really friendly. Really friendly, isn't you? Ah, this is what I did read about, actually. They've got some nice little products here available, look. They've got eggs. They have got the juice. And around the corner, um, we have got some of the, the beers here. Let me just have a little look and see what that beer is. Let's have a little look. It's the Memphis, oh, the Memphis Bell. Look at this, this is the Belgium stuff. Very nice. And it's super cold as well. So that's apple juice in there. But uh, they got some nice little beers here tucked away in the fridge and it looks as though they've just got a little slot in there like, so you can just fire your uh, euros in there so we've got a uh, chest freezer next door as well I'm just gonna open it up and have a look oh it's all the potatoes like all the local 
potatoes and they've got their own little bags with their logo on and this is where we're to we're at uh, or orca or q something like that the name of the place This is the area for the uh, the water drain, and you can fill up with water. There's a toilet uh, disposal point there in the stainless steel. There are uh, trash bins, recyclable, and uh, it's all you need. And there's a picture of a camper actually on the on the wall there, so you know what's going on. Perfect. Just having a little uh, walk around and sort of checking out the farm operation obviously where they cultivate their potatoes and there's one of the uh, trailers coupled up to this tractor and it is monstrous this thing is so big triaxle look at this outfit i think they're uh, big john deere fans over here so I've got some monster uh, John Deere's. It says looks some outfit to be fair. Absolutely monster size.
So we ended up leaving the farm stop and just before we left we went down to refill with water because it was so convenient to do it there and the guy that was uh, there running the place came he was he came down for a bit of a chat and said uh, do you guys like belgian beer by any chance and we're kind of like yeah we kind of like do we don't mind a belgian beer and uh, so we uh, wandered off and brought to uh, back two bottles of their local, which they brew uh, just on that farm, um, Belgian beer. Here you go, enjoy. And we're kind of like, wow, how good's that? We paid 15 euros and got free beer. That's <laughs> it's brilliant. Electricity, what a place, right out in the country, uh, lovely place, good night's sleep. So we left there and we're running on down through Belgium at the moment and then we uh, um, came up behind the Bursner. In fact, they're back in front of us again now because I've done a little bit of a sneak off for some fuel. So uh, we were trying to get to Luxembourg and I'm getting a little bit on the uh, dodgy side. So I, I don't want to push it too much. So we shot off and got some fuel. But we came up beyond the Bursner earlier on and uh, we were like, oh, that looks like a Bursner, a British registration number in front. And uh, we drifted by and uh, it was a uh, happy... So, uh, we eventually um, pulled off into the services and uh, had a bit of a chat. And these guys are on their way down the Mosul River for a little jolly in the Bursner. So, we had a very nice chat with them guys. Hello. And um, good to meet you guys. And you're in front of us again now because when we were in the garage, you passed us. And enjoy your <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> So we got the convoy of Bursners traversing Belgium. How good is this? How good is this? It is amazing. Absolutely. Right, we're gonna um, we'll slide on by. We're gonna be off in 12, so. Uh, have ended up in Bastogne in Belgium and it looks nice. really nice blue sky retro buildings look at this um, on the yeah. on here look like a yeah. train carriage look this looks lovely down here Yards, turn right. Yeah. Enter the roundabout, take the first exit. Jack's Austin Moore Museum. Oh, yeah. You have reached your destination. Okay, right. I'm gonna suss out where I'm going now. I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> 